Hello, my friends. As you might know, there is Hunix Gateway OS, which we can run in VMware and then get an additional gateway. This gateway can be used for starting any desirable OS. But Hunix Gateway OS works only with Tor network. Today, I'll show you how to create a similar chain using VMware and Windows. But here, we'll be able to share not only Tor network, but also SOX, SSH tunnels and VPN. So, what I have here? I've already started Windows 10 on VMware and titled it Windows Gateway. We have a network NAT here. I'll add another one. We need one network to receive the Internet and another one for sharing it using SOX, Tor, VPN, SSH and etc. Now go to the VMware network settings. Click on Virtual Network Editor. Here I'll add one more network, VMNet 10 for instance. Let's rename it to Win Gateway. For this network, deactivate DHCP and click Apply. After that, go to the VM settings and activate our network for the second adapter Win Gateway Host Only. Let's repeat the process for all VMs which need a network connection. So now Windows Gateway has been set up to share the secure Internet for other VMs. Windows 10 X64 and Mac OS High Sierra. All three operating systems are running. I activated NordVPN and started WSSH Tunnel Manager on the Windows Gateway OS. So you can see the following adapters. Ethernet O receives our home network, roughly speaking it's our NAT. Ethernet 1 is our Win Gateway adapter. Tap Nord VPN and Nord Links are clearly Nord VPN adapters. Nord Links is disabled for now. First of all, we need to share the secure Internet and we'll start with Tor network. We'll share the Internet with other VMs. Mac OS or Windows 10. This time move the picker to the door Ethernet position. The app offers to create one more adapter and then merge it with the already existing one, Ethernet 1. Let's choose it. Click Select. After that, we see the tip what exact adapters we need to merge. Select them and right-click on them and then click Bridge Connections. It's ready. We see that Virtual Router and Network Bridge have appeared. Network Bridge has connected Ethernet 1 to Virtual Router. From now, we are sharing the Internet with our VMs, Windows 10 or Mac OS. In case it won't work, be ready to restart our Windows Gateway OS after all these tweaks. But now, let's try to do this without a reboot. Sometimes it works. So we shift it to the other OS. Let's open settings. As we see, the network adapter is using our network Win Gateway. We are receiving this network. 
If we return to our Windows Gateway settings, we'll see that NAT is receiving network when the other adapter is sharing the Tor network. Let's test our internet here. Open Hoover. So we see that we are using Tor network. Let's test Mac OS. As we see, this OS is also using Tor. Now we'll shift from Tor to VPN. Switch off Tor and activate the VPN checkbox. You see this checkbox only when you have any VPN activated. In this case, the Tap Nord VPN adapter is active, so we are able to activate the checkbox. Let's do it. After that, the interface will be changed a bit. Our task now is to share this VPN with virtual router adapter. and then with Win Gateway. So activate the VPN Ethernet and now our VMs are receiving this network. As we are testing it, we see not VPN IP address. And here we see the same. Now we are going to use SSH tunnel. First, turn off the adapter by shifting the slider. After that, we'll see the list of SSH hosts. To use any of them, we need to configure them first. Right-click on the hosts list, go to AutoDNS then to Ethernet Router. And here you can choose any option you need. I'm using VPN, so the best option for me is DNS with UDP. For instance, Onion DNS and UDP DNS. Now choose one or several hosts by checking them. Click Run Socks. So we've connected to SSH tunnel. Now the app is searching for DNS and testing speed. Our connection is going through OpenVPN and then through SSH. Let's test the network in VMs. So we see the German IP as it should be. The same is on Mac OS. For instance, I want to change a host. Return to Windows Gateway OS. Right click on the hosts list. Then find Next SSH Socks. So we are connected. Test it again. We see that IP address has been changed. It's time to try SOX 5. Click Stop SOX. I have Shadow SOX configured on a 10744 proxy port. Open Options, choose Socks, Close. After that, the interface will be changed. Here it is, our Socks is 127.0.0.1.10744. Let's test the Socks, it's alive. Again, configure it and connect to it by clicking Run Socks. 
We are connected. Test the internet one more time. We also see here Germany, but it sucks for now. If we disconnect the internet, our VMs will no longer receive the internet. That's all. It was the case how to share the internet from one VM to another one using VMware.